Since I couldn't find much information on this stop valve assembly, uh, this is a 1988 John Deere 950. I figure I'd go ahead and, you know, give a little information of what's behind there and what you're going to run into. So as you can see, I didn't have to take off many lines. Um, I'll get around to the other side. I just wanted to start on this side to give a, a view of what's there. Of course, I just got this tractor. Um, knew it had some issues. Of course, you know, milky hydraulic fluid. Uh, everything that was behind stuck into three-point, nice and clean, though. So, I already have the fluid to give it a change. Probably run it, I don't know how many hours, and give it another change. But... Most of the lines I was able just to break free. There was uh, these two on that side control valve there. I had just had to turn the top one to be able to get the wrench in for the bottom one. That one I had to take completely off the access bolts. The rest of them I was able to you know, flex around enough. Uh, there is one with the banjo fitting that goes down and goes up to the front pump. I unclamped that and this model has a hydraulic filter which was in the way so Took the filter off and I was able to gain enough access for that to get the pump out. The only thing I can say is this three point was in the up position, so it was still under pressure. When I finally got the pop, the pump to pop loose, of course, you know, it just blew all the fluid and everything. So the only thing I really had to worry about is um, there's a, I guess it's a relief valve, a spring with a plunger on it. That was pretty floaty in there. Make sure you don't lose any of them parts. I did take the fittings off of the pump to access, you know, other bolts. But let's go up here. I did go ahead and remove the piston. I'm going to see if I can get another O-ring. It's a little misshaped. I guess that would cause it to leak down. And here's the front nose housing. That's the stop relief valve whatever it's called that's the one that's froze in there now I don't know I'm even considering maybe just cut that back so it's always open if it's too much of a hassle to get out the previous owner tried getting in there of course broke off an extraction tool or something in there and so I don't know otherwise I just weld it up to the front and try backing it out but I think I'm gonna to have to try to access this from the back side. There is two O-rings uh, that seal it. There's one that goes around the, uh, I guess that goes into the piston area. And there's uh, another one up there. But other than that, it was pretty straightforward. Um, of course there's some banjo lines and I don't know what all, you know, I see another bolt in there. I'm not getting into all that. I'm just here to tackle you know, the, the stop valve. But if anybody has any suggestions on how they would get that out of there, you know, please leave them in the comments. And, uh, you know, if you're like me, couldn't find much information, I hope this sheds a little bit of insight. There's only six bolts to take it out. I think I had it all apart in less than an hour. So not that bad of a job. Other than that, um, when I get some parts and get it back together, if there's anything to show, I'll let you know.